On the second day of InterSolar at Gandhi Nagar, we are right now joined by Mr. Uday Kamaji from Solar. Solar. So this company provides a wide range of solutions ranging from solar modules to balance of system and many other things. So in this conversation, we will try to understand the current plans of the company, future plans and much more. Mr. Kamath, thanks a lot for joining this conversation. Thank you. Yeah. First question, in terms of in manufacturing, uh, solar module manufacturing, what is your current capacity and what is your plan of expansion where you want to take your company up to? Yeah, uh, the present uh, module capacity is uh, 1 gigawatt. We're going to expand by another 1 gigawatt in, in modules and about half a gigawatt in cell line. So that's the plan for the next one year. And also in the balance of systems, we have expanded our capacity to 500 megawatt in terms of balance of systems. So this is uh, for the next two years, this will be our uh, uh, outlook. A lot of solar module manufacturers whom we talk to, they say that a lot of them after the government announced ALCM, a lot of them are going to venture into solar cell manufacturing. So is Swellect also planning to start uh, solar cell manufacturing soon? Any timeline you have fixed for that? Yeah, it will be. next one year we will be doing the cell line also. First we will expand the module line. And then we will go into the cell line, half a gigawatt of cell line. Uh, after the launch of PM Surigar, the capacity of residential rooftop system has seen an upsurge. So, what exactly this? How exactly this changed the game of solar module manufacturers in India? How it exactly changed your business? Uh, this is a double-edged sword. Actually, uh, it has given a thrust to the DCR market, mm. and DCR market has expanded exponentially. But the DCR cell uh, mod, uh, lines available in India are not enough. So there is a shortage of DCR cells, especially for PM storage scheme. People are experiencing shortages of DCR panels. So DCR uh, is the main thing, only you can't use any other uh, cells. So there are limited players like Jupiter, uh, Adani, uh, Premier and some, but overall free capacity available in the market is very low. So then that's causing a delay in us to um, produce a DCR panels consistent. That's our issue. As for our uh, conversation with different solar module manufacturers, there are more than 32, 33 companies who are planning to start solar cell manufacturing. Yes. How do you think in the next two, three, two to three years, how the solar cell market in India will change? What do you expect? Yeah, see now uh, with uh, solar cells, everybody is producing it, then the government make in India scheme will be more successful. Uh, and then we will not be dependent on uh, Chinese makes for the cells also. Now there is heavy dependence, 99% or 95% is from China. So that dependence will come down. Only but uh, cell manufacturing is not that cheap. It's quite costly compared to a module line. So like a one uh, gigawatt cell line, uh, maybe one fifth of a more cell, uh, equal capacity more cell, uh, cell line. You know, So module capacity is easy to ramp up, but cell capacity is much more complicated. And you also need to have a technology intensive team to keep up with the uh, times and develop better quality cells. So it's not not going to be that easy. While we, people may invest, they may find it that getting it converted to a business uh, which is successful is going to be a challenge. So the uh, in India has already achieved 100 gigawatt of solar installations yeah. and you are as you are already in the EUB business. So how you see what exactly changed in India that led to this purge in uh, installation and do you think the next 100 and 200 uh, gigawatt of installation will be simpler and faster? Yeah, now uh, definitely the first 100 gigawatt took uh, quite few years to reach. Next target uh, is going to be easier because a lot of people have realized uh, solar is the way out because there's something called ESG norms and ca uh, carbon border adjustment norms. And a lot of these companies doing business, uh, the corporates doing business for abroad. Uh, they have to comply with ESG norms, ESG, environmental, social and governance. So environmental is social, mainly solar. They have to put solar plants. So the global outlook on ESG and uh, carbon uh, credit norms is driving the business forward globally. So that is helping us, uh, the solar companies grow. So that's why the growth is faster now with the last two, three years, a lot of corporate governance has come in. <laughs> So that's helping the business uh, grow faster. Last question, do you think in India there is uh, more demand than supply? There is a lot of space for new companies, solar module manufacturers, installer, EPC players, developers? Yeah, there is right now the, a lot of capacity is being built up. But uh, as you see in all markets, after some time, this evens out, you know, supply, demand and people who can sustain the, in the long run, that will even out. Now there are a lot of enthusiasm there, people are coming out. But maybe in five years' time, the market may consolidate. And you see that consolidation happening, not now, 
I was just a growth phase. But after five years, it will be a consolidation phase. At that point of time, maybe only the stronger players will be remaining. Globally, this is the trend everywhere. A new trend, new technology or new opportunities come, a lot of people pop up. Then after some time, it settles down, the market dynamics and the volumes and the profits uh, will decide the future of the smaller companies. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kamath, for talking to Sorry.